Hey everybody, welcome to GDPG. Hey everyone. We are playing Crypt of the Decker Dancer. It's a favorite of mine, and it's been a little while since I played, and I'm using the Steam controller. This Everything's awesome. Made by Brace Yourself Games. This I is just looked be... it up and already forgot it. But... Brace Yourself Games. Uh, this is going to be really hard to do and yeah. talk at the same time, so we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, audio quality might be a little weird too because we have to have the volume up on the TV so that this guy can hear it. I mean, yep. obviously we have the visual so that he can kind of get the beat, but like, man, you can't play this game with the sound off. If you do, then you're probably crazy. Or you Although, just losing half okay, of the fun, fun of it, story really. real quick. Do you remember Mario RPG? Yeah, man. Okay, do you remember the Yoshi game? Yeah, man. So I used to play on that, but I had to play my game in the same room as my uncle, and my uncle got really annoyed by the sound. So I learned how to play that game without the sound. <laughs> that music That's game. That's sort of sad, but like... I respect you for that. <laughs> so, okay, cool. This is a rogue light game, um, as in there are temporary upgrades, or there are upgrades you can buy, and so your um, your so there's some meta yes. mechanics going yep. on. So we're just gonna jump right into zone one. Here we go. So your currency is what coins and gems? Um, gems, yes. The coins are temporary for just the dungeon. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk a little bit as you're playing the game because it's going to be really hard for you to play and talk at the same time. But yes. You're, I actually haven't played this game, but from my understanding is um, you basically rack up a, what do they call it, in a coin multiplier um, by staying on beat. So if you, if you miss a beat, then you lose your multiplier, which means you, what, deal less damage or you get less coins? Less coins. So and you when you get hit, just damage. like I did. Oh, you lose your multiplier when you're hit. And uh, when you miss the beat. Man, that's hard. Whoa, that is a big guy to be chasing you this early in the game. Although I guess you stomped him pretty well. Eh, I'm just used to it. Um, <laughs> although I did mess up a little bit because um, you also lose your multiplier if you press an incorrect input that isn't um, usable. Really? So, for instance... So if you walk into a wall... Yes, uh, if you walk into a wall, if you, um, so like I have, a sh uh, I have the bomb, right? If I press down and left at the same time, mm. uh, here we go. If I press down and left at the same time, I will, uh, I will use that bomb. But let's say I in, uh, press like left and right at the same time, and I don't have anything that goes in there. Um, crap. Oh, you have to buy a golden key. Whoa, is that it? Hidden room? It was indeed. How did you know it was there? Um, cracking the wall. Oh man, that was subtle. Just things you get used to. Okay, I need to make a decision here. Um, you know what? We're gonna go. Uh, give items tougher enemies. Blood weapon. Give blood. Blood weapon. We're gonna go glass. And there's no no All like items glass, true though. consequence of being offbeat other than losing your multiplier, right? Yeah, I could just stay in one place. So here's what's happening right now. See that guy in the cage? He's another uh, meta upgrade that will last in between levels, and he actually allows me to unlock those other levels and, or other interesting doors that you saw locked before. Mm. Um, by the way, that little space sparkles, and so I knew there was a diamond there. Uh, Just once okay. again, knowing the game from playing it. So here's a question for you then. Is this game... So say, like, I have no rhythm, right? And I just cannot keep a multiplayer to save my life. Um... Is this game still playable for those people? Like, can you just, like... Honestly, no. <laughs> no, that's, that's actually really important, because, like, it, it sort of begs the question ah, of, like... Oh. Come on. I'm not gonna make it. I just got make that what? key, and I'm not gonna be able to get to the cage in time. Well, uh, you're running out of time? Yep. Oh, the song ends! Oh, so that's how you change from dungeon to dungeon? Yep. Oh, um, so there's crazy. actually... Ah, oh, well, crap. I guess you just jump down that little portal. Well done, me. Alright, press up and down at the same time to continue. Cool, at least I got two uh, diamonds. Uh, yeah, no, I screwed that one up hardcore. Oh. So, so I purchased that for one. Let's see what's over here. Get me some cheese going on. Get me some... I only have what one is... more. What does the cheese do? Uh, cheese is gonna heal you. So here's one really cool thing about this game. So now there's gonna be a red chest on every floor, right? So here's what's really cool about these upgrades. So like, 
for instance, cheese heals you a little bit, but let's say you're a really good player and you're like, one cheese healed me a little bit. I don't need that. What I need is good healing when I do find it. So you can buy all these upgrades as you see them show up in the, in the maps, and only three are going to show up at a time on each section. Um, and so you can purchase them with the diamonds that you get. Now, eventually, you're going to start out surpassing those old items that aren't good anymore and like getting like better versions of things, or just maybe you don't like some items. You can actually go into uh, your, um, uh, maybe it's in here. You can go somewhere, maybe into this room. Whoa. No, I would not. I would not like to do that. That would kill me. Okay. Um, so you, you can go into one room and disable items. Like, oh, you can be wow. like, you know what? Yeah, I was able to purchase that, but now I hate that item. So I never uh, want to show up in the okay. dungeon because I'd rather something else show up in the dungeon. Huh. That's interesting. So we're just going to jump right back in. I'm actually not so good at this uh, first area here. As I get murdered. Why do you say that, though? Just because it's a slower rhythm than you're used to? Yep. That, that actually makes sense. I feel like if you play this game for a while, you're going to get more attuned to the faster rhythms. Yep. Um, and, like, especially, I feel like, early game, you just kind of, like, want to rush through it because it's all, like things that should be easy or things you're already used to so it doesn't really pose a challenge but instead it becomes challenging again because <laughs> you have to adjust to the slow rhythm precisely <laughs> that's that's a really unique challenge i think to this game i can't imagine that happens in many other games <laughs> that's a good way of looking at it um let's see i'm just gonna go and, no i don't need the money right now that's fine so you can uh blow up those golden blocks with your one bomb that you get and uh, you will uh, get gold for every space. Aww. Oh, there's a diamond. You see, what, what I do like about the diamonds is that um, n knowing which spots to destroy like that is um, it's interesting because knowing which spots to blow up, you just you have to get used to it from playing it, right? But it also means that you're gonna have to constantly watch the map. Mm. So you can't just like only look out for enemies or whatever the case is. Boom, titanium spear. So here's how it works. Every weapon functions a different way. So like, knife is what you normally... God damn, another one? Uh, uh, a knife is what you'll start off with. Okay, cool. I don't remember what he does. See you in the lobby. It's like, super bearded red dude with a whip. Yeah, I'm not sure what he does. I don't remember. Maybe he's the monster guy. Like, there's a guy where you can he allows you to practice against monsters. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they're not necessarily just characters that you can play. Yes. Which I did see that there's a character selector. Um, so I assume you can unlock other playable characters. They're pretty cool. There's a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a bard that actually allows you to um, ignore the music. Really? Mm-hmm. So, what, you don't have to act on a rhythm, or...? Yep. It acts like a regular roguelike. Oh, that's so weird. Right? Which obviously I, defeats the purpose of the game. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that the developers included that, actually. I think it's really cool that they decided that it was the bard that did that. So, well, um, it makes perfect sense. I chose to move on. Because he's the bard. He yep. does what he wants. He does what he wants. Oh, wow. It keeps your coin multiplier between levels. Yes, but only if you go through that one area. Ah, uh, I see. So, up and left. So, is there an infinite amount of floors, or is there an actual endpoint to the game? Um, every so, like, I'm on the first floor here. Mm -hmm. um, it will have, I want to say, uh, four or five levels, and then once I get through all those, there is a boss fight, which are oh. the coolest part about this game. And then, um, then uh, I'm done with that floor, and I can access the second floor after that. Now, if you say you die at that point, can you just jump straight to floor two, or the the second like zone, or do you have to go through each zone every time? Uh, nope. I uh, once I go, fuck, I can't destroy that. Once I go through uh, the first floor, I can. Or, yes, floor. Once I go through the first first floor, I can access the second floor instead of the first floor. That's kind of nice. So it it's. It definitely is a very roguelike system then because yes. it's choosing your dungeon. Like would basically say like you have to go through everything over again. 
Ooh, whoa, I'm so glad I have the titanium spear. Was that normally a tough monster? Um, he's tricky. Oh, uh, okay. cool. So I noticed you can break through most walls, but it looks like there are solid walls that you can't break. I so assume that's those that, stone that ones would require the next level of shovel. Oh, is there a point where you can just like infinitely burst through things? Yep. <laughs> really? Cool. I now have the magic person, so I can buy scrolls after this. Oh, nice. Um, so, yes, there are... Um, I'm doing so poorly at this game because of talking and hard to hear. You're still doing uh, better than I would, man. I think the only reason that you're able to do so well is because you play guitar and can sing at the same time. That is fair. One of those, like, hands and brain doing two different things at the same time kind of deals. <laughs> difference is once you are used to playing guitar and singing at the same time, Sometimes it's easier to do both at the same time. That's fair. I actually, I mean, but it really talk depends on what you're doing. If, it, if it'll help. I thought about it. <laughs> I feel like that would take too much concentration, though. Okay, yeah, reasons so. Reasons why you are playing this and not me. So there are different. I'm gonna lose my modifier, but that's okay. I'm gonna die anyway soon, so. So there are different types of weapons. Um, what are we doing on time? We're doing alright. Oh, we're a little bit over, but we can you can finish your thought. Cool thing about the weapons is, so I have the spear, right? The spear allows me to attack in two spaces. Um, the titanium spear is an upgrade to the spear, which means not only does it do that thing that a spear does. Fuck. Oh, wow. Not only does it do that thing that a spear does, but it is able to attack two spaces, or it uh, does two damage instead of one damage. There are, the, the, uh, so there's an attribute to the weapon, and then there's the weapon type. So you can cool. have, like, a blood weapon, which means every so often you heal when you kill something. Oh. Yeah. And so you have, like, the broadsword, which can swipe an arc, or the whip, which can do some crazy things. Huh. So um, the, the weapons are pretty cool. They're, like, there's a uniqueness to them. Everyone mechanically changes the way you attack. And then can they each have, like, different traits associated with them? Like, can, uh, can you have, like, a whip that heals you when it deals damage? Um, or is it yes, specific? you can have a blood whip. You could have a blood yeah. sword. You can have a blood okay, spear. So you can have a titanium whip. You can have nice. um, a variety of different things. So it is it is very roguelike in, in kind of how they generate the weapons, I'd say. Which, mm -hmm. that's honestly, from a design standpoint, that's smart because you're re reusing your um, existing mechanics in different and interesting combinations. Um, Precisely. In a way that's resource efficient. So good job, you guys. Uh, but that's all we have for this episode. Uh, question of the day for you guys is, I actually kind of want to ask about, um, mm, well, I guess I could word it in two different ways. Beast Master. I, I guess, maybe, I was going to ask about the Bard, but I want to leave the Bard out for now. I want to ask, do you think that um, this game should require you to kind of stick with the rhythm in order to play it? Or should things like the Bard be there for players that don't have that rhythm sense? Um, it's sort of like an all or nothing question. Do you think it should be an all or nothing situation or do you think it should accommodate? And I think the bard is the accommodation. That's why it's, it's that's what I'm thinking of. Um, Possibly. I think it's going against the idea of the game, but I... Well, that's, that's, that's why I think that it's that, it's that, how, it's how players without rhythm can play the game, is through the bard. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but like, should that even exist? Should it be an all or nothing thing where it's you know, either you play the rhythm game because you're playing a rhythm game, or you don't. It's a good question. It's it's a challenge. Like I don't think there's any like solid single answer for that, but I think it's worth talking about. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to see more Crypt of the Necrodancer. I know this is going to be a little bit of a weird series for what we have on the show, but my brain. It's uh, it's a, it's one it's of those challenging. It's challenging, and this is one of those indie classics that I feel like needed to be on the show at one point or, no, or another because we play so many indie games that if we pass this one up, I mean, it, it's been out for a while, but like, this one's good. This one's real good. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>